folks, my name is Paul Ranger. Today we're doing a top 10. I haven't done a top 10 TF2 video for a, lot, for a while. So I think we should start off with the front line yet again. Look at 10 weapons. Some I have showcased in the past and some I haven't and some have changed a bit. Now I will say this for those who do watch these videos. If I struggle to pronounce a name or if I can't pronounce it, it's because I have <gasps> dyslexia and global learning delay, which affects my reading, spelling and pronunciation. So if someone comments, is this guy got disabilities or so on and so forth, or why can't he even read or Oh, that's where a person went, learn to read. Someone please tell that person, did you listen to them in the, in the start of the video or the end, or did you look in the description? Dumbass. That is the usual response that usually people always say to those type of morons. And it again, link in the description for every weapon. I've also left the Frontline Cosmetic Collection down below for you guys to have a look. Obviously enough though, these are weapons and hopefully one day any one of them could get added in the near future, nonetheless. But, you know, life is too short to complain and life is too short to struggle. So let's look at these weapons, shall we? And by God, there are some good ones, I have to admit very goodly made. So starting out in number 10 is Blockhead's Bowie. A soldier melee weapon. We don't really have a lot of knives in the game. It would be very nice to actually have this in the game. Imagine if it does like bleed damage or maybe extra damage. You just go whack, someone's bleeding. But it's a pretty badass looking weapon fits perfectly for the frontline update and a very good one nonetheless for soldier. Next is Demo Man, number 9. Handheld Howitzer. A sort of a long range grenade launcher. Basically you shoot from a distance, the minute it hits the ground it causes serious damage. And I love the idea. Obviously we can tell it's a one shot type of weapon. Or maybe a two shot, who knows. But it's definitely fairly well made. And the shells are excellent. Next is the Medic. Ma medic. Manix. Medicational Pistol. I really hope I said that right. But it's a new syringe gun for the Medic. It glows in the dark. Ooh. <laughs> I love the idea of that actually. You see the syringes actually glow. And a pretty cool feature. And I guess the quality dependent on the build or syringes is quite interesting. But a very good weapon nonetheless and something I would like to see for the medic. Number 7 is Maximim Gun version 2. The style of this gun it got updated but as you can see, choose who you want to be killing, who you want to kill. And obviously this weapon does have a little photo portrait of it. But what about the gun itself? Well, here it is. Different styles, but it looks beautiful nonetheless. And a very good one at that. A really cool weapon for the heavy. Don't ask me how to pronounce this. But Nail Gun is the only part of that name I can read. Boy, oh boy, but... It's a definite very cool shotgun or machine gun for the scout. But I think it's mostly a shotgun. But a very cool one nonetheless. And it fits perfectly for the game as it is. And with more explosions we come up to the pyro. Shatina Torba. I probably pronounced that wrong but who gives a shit? It's a cool flare gun for the pyro. It's like a mortar gun. 
I really hope they actually add this into the game because this looks sick. Please, TF team, add this in and a custom shell or projectile for this weapon, but a very good one nonetheless. We have another shotgun with a scout. Number four, the silencer. I guess you could say this weapon stats shots you cannot hear anyone does critical hits on back of opponents but probably has four clips who, who knows who oh, sorry about that folks it's a bit late and obviously the spy gets denied heavy sight what is this you moron but yet again though it is a cool weapon and an idea next is steel battalion at number three a four class shotgun a soldier engineer pyro and heavy they're the only classes that use all these weapons. Engineer using the shotgun as his main weapon. Heavy is in secondary and pyro for secondary. But it's a very cool weapon, I actually have to admit. And it looks really badass. And it really fits perfectly actually for the soldier because he's very American. But at number two is the follower. It followed me home. Can I keep it? Starcraft 2 reference there. This rocket launcher looks awesome. Like, very. I haven't seen a rocket launcher that looks this good. Obviously, the people who made it must have took serious time to develop this. Oh, God, not all the time to yawn. Oh, I hate that. I'm in the middle of a recording, but I am a bit tired. In any case, so good weapon. Number one. I hope you didn't, folks didn't hear that. Any quest of the man cannon? A very good weapon that nonetheless, and it's a very cool one. Perfect for NPM. Maybe it could encourage snipers more. But nonetheless, though, it is a pretty good one. And it looks badass. Well done. Good sirs. So that's a showcase of 10 weapons. I hope you guys didn't hear my brother shout it out loud. If you quietly did, apologies, but I think you'll be hearing music in the background, hopefully. So, I hope you enjoy this. I will probably do another Mayan one and another jungle themed type weapons. Also, um, Cough Underground, version of the Mayan or jungle theme, it's called Cough Abandoned Mine Shaft. Link in the description. It's a pretty cool one. You've probably seen bots fighting out there. Out there, I gotta do another Abby Ribby. Soma's finished. Happy with that. That's another video series finished on my checklist. But nonetheless, though, thank you very much for watching. It again. Look in the description if you want to know why my reading so bad. And if you comment about it, you'll be a bit of an idiot. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Ha 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 